Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the synthesis of Amit. Um, and I'm going to start as I have in all of my other videos with direct conversion of carboxylic acids. And all carboxylic acids can be converted into amides by just reacting with the amine and hating the blazes out of the thing. Uh, and generating water as a byproduct. And, and this reaction works as, as all of, as I have covered in the reactions of the other functional groups. And it's worth noting that uh, Primary amines and secondary amines will react to give the corresponding secondary and tertiary amides. The tertiary amines tend to just misbehave because uh, there's no hydrogen on there for them to remove. So tertiary amines just sort of get locked in the uh, uh, in the proton transfer function. So, oh, wrong charge. I wonder, it looks silly. Okay. Um, for simple carboxylic acids and simple amines, this works out really pretty well, but uh, ultimately for any sort of complicated molecule, you really don't want to mistreat them this way. And so... Uh, You know, a, a complementary route would be to have an amine and react it with either the acid chloride to generate the amide this way, um, or instead of using the acid chloride, use the acid anhydride. Uh, both of these will, will work. And it's also worth noting that um, amines also react with esters, though esters are starting to get to the low reactivity end. And so this, this kind of requires some, some oomph as well that maybe you don't want to mistreat your molecules this way. Uh, all of these reactions are uh, follow the neutral mechanism for uh, nucleophilic acyl substitution. Uh, and they all work out pretty well with ammonia, primary means, and secondary means. Okay. Uh, like the formation of esters, there are a whole host of coupling reagents uh, that can be used to make amides. And generally, The idea is to avoid some of the harsher conditions and the more reactive intermediates and be able to react a carboxylic acid and an amine directly in the presence of some sort of activating agent. Um, and, and there are uh, a number of ways that that can be done, but honestly, the... Uh, The DCC reagent, which is dicyclohexyl carbodiimide. This that I introduced in the video on the synthesis of esters is a perfectly legitimate re reagent for this. And the folks who are invested in a solid phase peptide synthesis. Uh, have invented all kinds of other ways to, to make this these kinds of reactions behave and be tolerant of a wide range of functional groups. Okay. Uh, and the way that this particular reaction works is by first... Oops, I want to leave my ECC here. I want to just leave it as ours.
the first what happened, uh, and I cover this in just a little bit more detail in the, the video on ester synthesis, but the carboxylic acid reacts with DCC to make this activated ester. Uh, it's sort of you know, predisposed with this better. Now we have something that's a good leaving group. And so this activated ester can then react with the amine to make the amide. Uh, the ester, the ester version requires a an additional, you know, base catalyst thing because uh, alcohols are not as good as nucleophiles and they're not basic like amines. But the uh, the amine reaction doesn't require that. Yeah. And there are plenty of others out there that that work just well. But this this is one. Uh, kind of example, All right? So uh, this concludes my video on the synthesis of amides. And there's one other synthesis of amide that is worth talking about, and it's the partial hydrolysis of nitriles. Uh, and I'll come back to that in the reaction of nitriles, but it's hard to keep stop that reaction at the amide. Right? So uh, this concludes my video series, or this concludes my video on the synthesis of amides. Up next, reactions of amides. Thank you for watching.